Hi folks, in this short video we're going to take a quick look at drawing simple circuits based on logic gates. This is a rough sketch of the circuit that we're going to draw. It's called a full adder and its purpose is to add two binary numbers together. We should be able to draw this up fairly quickly using TinyCAD. Okay, I've just opened up TinyCAD and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a title on the page. We can do that by clicking on the text icon and then just typing in the name of the circuit. And it might be worth changing the font to be a little bit bigger, so we might pick size uh, 20. Okay. And now we can place the name of the circuit. We can always move it later on if we want to, so I'll just place it here for now. So the first couple of components we need are exclusive OR gates. So to find those, uh, if we go to the 74 TTL series, and then we can scroll down a little bit, and here we'll find quad XOR gates. So if we click here, we can then position a couple of them on the diagram. Next, we need to click on them and then just change the orientation to right. I can click on this one, change it to right, and then I'm gonna move the toolbox over here out of the way. Now we need to get a couple of AND gates. So let's have a little scroll up here until we find some AND gates. We have three input ones, four input ones, and this one here, quad AND gates. It's a little bit uh, misleading. It just means that there's four of these gates in the particular IC package. This is what we want, so we click here and we'll position two of these. And then we'll just change their orientation to right. And the last gate we need is just a plain old OR gate. So we'll just uh, scroll around until we find one. Can take a little while to find them. Here we go, quad OR gate, here, and place it about there. Okay, I'll just move it a little bit. Okay, position an extra one, I don't need that, so I'll just delete one. Remember, if you want to delete something, just select the item, and then press the delete button on the keyboard. Okay, I'm just gonna move everything around a little bit, just to tidy it up. And remember, you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Just going to fix this guy. Let's just move these around a little bit more. Yeah, that should probably do. Okay, next we need to start connecting things. So we're going to click on the uh, wire over here. And then we're going to start connecting things up. So we want this output here from this uh, exclusive OR gate to go into the input of this gate. We want to have input wires. So I'm just going to click on those ones and press escape when you're done with one. Click on the tool again and then just drag out to where you want to go and press escape. Okay, so the next one we want to do is we want to connect these two AND gates into the OR gate. So we'll click on the output, feed it into the input, and the same over here. Now we just draw the output from the second exclusive OR gate. Just bring it over to about here. Press escape. 
And then we're going to bring the output from the OR gate about here. Press escape. Now we're going to connect up the um, second AND gate. So click here and then bring the wire up to this one. And then click here and bring the wire up to this one. And you see it automatically makes a connection point. Okay, next we want to connect the last of the AND gates. So we'll click here and click here. And this one to here. Next, we need the carry in, so I'll connect from here and bring it out to about here. Let's just label the inputs and the outputs now. So if you click on the text icon and just put in a, a over here, B over here, and just make the font a little bit smaller for this one. And then I'll just carry in. Yeah, that can go there. Next, we need to have carry out. And that will go here. And sum. Which will go here. Just a little bit of tidying up to do now. So I'm going to click on the different gates and I'm just going to change the labels a little bit. So I'm just going to call this U1. And for value, I'm going to put in X or. Okay, and then this one. Two, we could call it, and uh, we call this XOR as well. You, know, you may want to change the way you do it yourself. I'm just choosing those names for this particular purpose. And so this one here, I'm going to change that next. So this is AND gate. I'll put in AND. And call this U3. And this one. Call this U4. And finally, the last one here, the OR gate. Okay, so at least they're labeled a little bit more neatly now. And then if you want, you can leave it like that. That's perfectly good as it is. And alternatively, what you can do if you want is you can put a little circle at the end of each of the uh, outputs. So to do that, we just click on the circle shape and then zoom into the area we want to make the circle. And we should be able to draw a circle. Thank you. If you find that the circle is too big, doesn't really suit what you want, you can go to options, go to settings, then you can go and change the grid spacing. So you could go user set, change that to a smaller number, and it lets you kind of uh, resize things to a more accurate uh, degree. So I'll just finish this other one. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much the drawing done. Now all we need to do is uh, take a screenshot of it so we can put it into our fancy lab report. So one thing we can do is just click on the thimble picker icon here to get rid of that. And that allows us to have a larger screen area. And then we can right click with our mouse to drag the picture about. And then when we want to get, take a screenshot, just press Windows, Shift and S. And then drag your mouse across the area that you want to take a picture of. 
and let go of your mouse. And that's now copied to the clipboard. Just a matter of interest, by the way, the names on these chips, you could change them around. So, for example, I have uh, U1A here, but if both of these gates were in the same chip, you'd probably call them both U1, and then this one might be U1A, and this one might be U1B. Okay, it just depends on your preferences. All right, so once you've taken your screenshot uh, and you've uh, got your document ready, you can paste it in. Okay, so I've just opened my fancy electronics lab report, and now I can press Control V and paste in the diagram. Okay, so now the report looks just a little bit more professional. Okay, folks, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we'll look at how to draw components that you might need that might not be available in the library. So it allows you to create your own components that can, you can use and then reuse in other drawings. So don't forget to uh, smash that like button and uh, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.